Hi everyone, I'm David Kim. OpenAI made waves on December 4th by announcing a unique 12-day livestream event to showcase new products and demos. Like a tech version of an advent calendar, this was something no other tech company had done before. The announcement sent ripples through social media as users eagerly shared their wish lists with OpenAI, their very own AI Santa Claus. Today, we're diving into all the exciting surprises OpenAI delivered during this December event and uncovering what made this holiday season extra special in the tech world. On December 5th, Sam Altman kicked off the live stream with three OpenAI developers, unveiling two major announcements. The full release of O1 and a new ChatGPT Pro subscription priced at $200 per month. This full version of O1 is a significant upgrade over its preview version. It's not just faster and smarter, it shows major improvements in handling math problems and coding tasks. While the O1 preview could only process text, this new release can now process images as well, taking AI capabilities to the next level. The new ChatGPT Pro subscription is priced 10 times higher than the Plus plan at $200 per month. But here's what you get. Almost unlimited access to OpenAI's latest models, including O1 mode, O4 mode, advanced voice chat, and O1 Pro mode. Since O1 Pro uses more computing power to think harder and provide even better answers than O1 mode, it has proven to be the top performer in testing. Plus, the reliability of O1 Pro is better than both O1 and O1 Preview. OpenAI applied a tough standard for the reliability testing. The model had to get the right answer four times in a row to pass. That's what they call 4-4 reliability. O1 Pro scored above 74% in every benchmark test. For professionals like scientists, engineers, and programmers who need consistent, accurate results, this upgrade could be worth the investment. On day two, OpenAI introduced a technique called reinforcement fine-tuning. Think of it as teaching AI the way we teach students through a reward-driven training loop. When the AI performs well, it gets positive reward. When it misses the mark, it receives constructive feedback. This training method enables the AI to keep practicing and adjusting based on the feedback scores it receives, gradually improving its performance through each iteration. What makes RFT special is its efficiency. It delivers targeted improvements with fewer labeled data sets than traditional training methods. When comparing a fine-tuned O1 mini model with the O1 model, it's remarkable that RFT, using a dataset of just 1,100 examples, achieved higher accuracy than the larger, and more advanced O1 model. However, if you're eager to try RFT yourself, you'll have to wait a little longer. For now, it's exclusively available to universities, research institutions, and businesses for alpha testing, with a public release scheduled for early next year. Day three brought what everyone had been waiting for, Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video model. This release certainly lived up to the hype. Sora allows users to create videos, from text descriptions, images, or existing video clips. It supports both landscape and portrait formats, and users can adjust parameters like resolution and video duration. One of the standout features is the storyboard function, where you can use a digital timeline to generate and modify clips to design scenes or action sequences. You can even leave gaps in the timeline and let the AI fill in the missing scenes. It's like having an AI assistant director that helps bring your vision to life. The great news for ChatGPT Plus and Pro subscribers is that they can start exploring Sora right away. I'll also be releasing a deep dive episode on Sora with more detailed testing and reviews. Day four introduced what could be called a quality of life update rather than a major overhaul, a comprehensive upgrade to ChatGPT Canvas. While Canvas has been in beta since October, powered by GPT-40, this update represents its full evolution. Canvas transforms how users interact with ChatGPT, particularly for complex writing and coding projects that require multiple revisions and detailed feedback. OpenAI describes it as a new way of working with ChatGPT to write and code. The upgraded Canvas is now available to all users and comes with new features. Users can run Python code directly within Canvas and integrate it with custom GPT models. On the writing front, Canvas acts as a smart writing assistant offering suggestions for edits, adjusting text length, fine-tuning readability, and even adding emojis to enhance engagement. For programmers, especially beginners, Canvas offers code conversion and bug fixing capabilities. The release on day five wasn't a new feature or AI model, but rather something called 
Apple Intelligence. OpenAI has integrated ChatGPT into Apple's ecosystem, offering seamless access across iPhones, iPads, and MacBooks. Apple users can ask Siri to interact with ChatGPT for various tasks, use enhanced writing tools in their documents, and even leverage visual intelligence features through their iPhone's camera. While it might not be the flashiest announcement of the week, this system-level integration is a big win for Apple users, making the experience smoother and more intuitive. Day six brought an upgrade to ChatGPT's advanced voice mode, now with video and screen sharing capabilities. Powered by the native GPT-4 O model, this feature supports voice input and output in over 50 languages, making conversations more natural than ever. The most exciting part is ChatGPT's ability to see what you're doing through your camera. During the live stream, an OpenAI employee demonstrated this by having ChatGPT guide him in real time on how to brew pour over coffee. It's like having a knowledgeable friend who can watch and guide you step by step. In addition to video chat, ChatGPT's advanced voice mode also lets you upload photos, take pictures, and share your screen. When you share your screen, ChatGPT can actively read and interpret what's on display, responding with voice feedback. And here's a fun holiday treat. ChatGPT has introduced a special Christmas mode. It's not just about festive visuals, you can actually chat with Santa Claus himself. But like all great holiday features, this one is only available through the end of December. On day seven, OpenAI focused on expanding ChatGPT's features, introducing the project feature. This might be ChatGPT's most practical feature yet. Previously, each conversation in ChatGPT was isolated with every new question or task requiring a new chat. Now with projects, users can finally organize their conversations, much like managing files and folders. A standout feature of projects is its knowledge base management. Users can now upload various materials such as files, code, or other resources into a project as reference materials. Any conversation within that project can seamlessly draw from these materials, ensuring more precise and contextually relevant responses. Each project also allows for custom instructions. Users can set instructions such as tone, role, or field of focus, and these preferences will automatically apply to all conversations within the project. No need to repeat the instructions in every chat. Moreover, both Canvas and web browsing capabilities are fully integrated into projects, offering a comprehensive solution. Whether you're working independently or collaborating with a team, this organized approach to managing conversations helps streamline your workflow and boost productivity. Day eight brought big news. ChatGPT search, previously a feature only for paid users, is now free for all users. The upgraded version is faster and offers improved mobile performance. For content searches, ChatGPT can automatically determine whether to conduct web searches based on your questions, though you can still manually enable web searching if you prefer. Users can now view multimedia content directly within their conversations from search results. While the ability to watch videos within the AI search engine isn't new, ChatGPT's source database still can't match Google's scale. The optimized search feature now offers a more user-friendly interface on mobile devices. In the demo, a restaurant search displayed results in a card format, where tapping each card revealed more details about the restaurant. What sets this apart from traditional search engines is the conversational follow-up capability. Users can naturally refine their search through dialogue to get more precise information. Additionally, the search functionality will soon be integrated into advanced voice features. Day nine, dev day. As the name suggests, this was clearly a developer-focused event. On the model front, OpenAI introduced two major releases, the fully featured O1 model API and a comprehensive upgrade to their real-time API. The O1 model API introduces several capabilities. At its core is vision functionality, allowing users to upload and query images directly. The function calling capability enables O1 to interact with external APIs and data sources, showing noticeably stronger performance than GPT-4 in this area. O1 also demonstrates significant improvements in structured outputs, outperforming GPT-4.0 with its ability to generate responses in custom JSON formats, ensuring a consistent output structure that developers can easily integrate. The new developer messages feature, functioning similarly to system prompts, gives developers finer control over model behavior. And finally, there is the reasoning effort control, a clever feature that optimizes resource usage by conserving costs on simple tasks while using more compute to complex operations that require deeper analysis. 
OpenAI is currently rolling out access to developers on usage tier 5. As for the real-time API, you can think of it as the API powering ChatGPT's advanced voice mode, enabling developers to integrate similar voice capabilities into their own applications. The most notable announcement was the introduction of WebRTC support. This integration enhances audio encoding, streaming, and noise suppression, particularly in environments with unstable network connections. Thanks to WebRTC, developers can now add real-time voice features with just 12 lines of JavaScript code. In addition, OpenAI announced a 60% reduction in audio token pricing with this update, making the service more affordable for developers. Beyond the API releases and upgrades, there's a new fine-tuning feature called Preference Fine-Tuning. This feature customizes the model by comparing different responses, making it particularly effective for tasks that require specific tones, styles, or creative approaches. Overall, Day 9 served as a special holiday gift exclusively for developers, empowering them to unlock new possibilities with enhanced APIs and technologies at lower costs. On the third to last day of the live stream event, Day 10, OpenAI introduced what might be considered the least practical feature, a direct phone line to ChatGPT. By dialing 1-800-242-8478, users can have voice conversations with ChatGPT. However, due to system limitations, ChatGPT can only respond based on its training data and and cannot perform web searches. Additionally, calls are limited to 15 minutes per month. For users interested in voice interactions, I recommend using the more feature-complete advanced voice mode instead, which offers a superior experience. Another equally underwhelming feature was ChatGPT's WhatsApp integration. Users can chat with ChatGPT on WhatsApp by either adding OpenAI's provided number to their contacts or scanning the official QR code provided in the demo. On the second to last day, the much anticipated AI agent and scheduled tasks features were notably absent. Instead, OpenAI unveiled the work with apps feature for the desktop, allowing ChatGPT to interact with other applications on your computer. However, this feature had already been introduced on macOS a month earlier. The update now extends integration support to include additional applications such as document editors and development tools, while also enabling advanced voice features when interacting with these apps. Currently, the desktop version is only available for macOS 14 or later with an M1 chip or better. OpenAI dropped some exciting news on the last day. While it's still just a promise for now, it's definitely a promising one. They announced two new models, O3 and O3 Mini. These are essentially upgraded versions of their previous O1 model, specifically designed for reasoning and analysis. We're calling it a promise because O3 is still undergoing safety testing and the O3 Mini won't be officially released until the end of January 2025. By the way, if you're a researcher or developer, you can apply to join the early testing phase before January 10th, 2025 to help improve the model's safety and reliability. Let's look at O3's performance in benchmarks testing. It achieves 71.7% accuracy in real-world coding scenarios, which is over 20% higher than O1. In competitive programming tests, O3 scored 2,727 points, outperforming the host mark who scored around 2,500 points. O3's math skills are equally remarkable. It scored an outstanding 96.7% on the 2024 American Invitational Mathematics Examination and achieved 87.7% accuracy on the doctorate level GPQA Diamond Test. What's even more striking is O3's performance on Epic AI's Frontier Math Benchmark, widely regarded as one of the most challenging math tests available. While other AI models struggle to reach 2% accuracy on this test, O3, when running at high computational power, managed to achieve over 25% accuracy. And O3 Mini offers three thinking time settings, low, medium, and high. You can select how much time you want it to spend processing based on your needs. Even at the medium setting, the O3 Mini outperforms the O1 model in the CodeForces ELO programming test. While O3 and O3 Mini mark significant advances in reasoning capabilities, bringing us closer to AGI. This raises an important question for developers. As AI models' reasoning abilities continue to improve and potentially reach their peak, will current technologies like fine-tuning, RAG, and prompting remain relevant? All right, uh, that's all for today. If you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel for more insights into the latest AI developments.